Changing lives for children at the center of an opioid crisis in Oklahoma. KFCO's Alex Housden shows us how one group is trying to break the cycle. Addiction, it's something that's been passed on for generations. Paige Smith watched her parents die from the effects of drugs, and now she wants to make sure her daughter doesn't go through the same thing. Because of what I've put her through, you know, she's developed her own demons. And um, in treatment, it's, it's about fixing the mom, fixing the dad, you know, how to keep them from using and putting the kids through more, but nobody ever talks about what the kids have already been through. Peaceful Family Solutions was created to help the children of addiction break their family cycle. Different exercises are used to help the children let their parents know how bad it's hurting them. If we can change the family dynamic and start with the kids, then we can give them new coping skills, new problem solving skills, ways to deal with life and feelings and problems. Anger, fear, and sadness, just a few of the emotions that these kids express feeling while watching drugs overtake their parents' life. One of them expressed to me that they were afraid of death, of me not waking up at some point. Um, I just, that's really hard. Never did I realize that that was even a concern in their mind. Now, Peaceful Family Solutions is a free program, and they ask that if you know any family suffering from addiction, please sign them up for a session. You can find that information on our website at KOCO.com. Alex Housden, KOCO 5 News. And the number of babies born with opioid withdrawal syndrome rose by nearly 400% in recent years. It can cause tremors, excessive crying, and difficulty swallowing. One of the problems is that many health care providers lack standard treatments for the condition. The National Institutes of Health is working to fix that. It's funding a new study to evaluate treatment options. If you need to safely get rid of old and unwanted prescriptions, look for a drug drop-off box. Many police departments have them in their lobbies. State drug agents safely dispose of the pills, no questions asked. During the annual drug take-back day in October, Oklahomans got rid of more than one and a half tons of drugs. There were 30 take-back sites here in Oklahoma. Nationwide, people dropped off more than 465 tons of medicine. Also, a change at this year's Bedlam game. What OU and OSU did to raise awareness about the opioid crisis in Oklahoma.